Well, hey guys, this is, well, DK Spencer, <laughs> in case you didn't pick up on that, right? And y'all can't blame me for the, the over-branding. I mean, y'all know I'm a big DC Comics fan, and whether they be villains or heroes, the one thing they all got in common is, uh, you know, they threw their brand out there. I mean, come on. Batman can't drink a, a beverage without it being in a back cup. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so let's go ahead and throw another one out there just for good measure. So anyway, my boy uh, Dawson Dave YZFR6, uh, who's been a massive supporter of my channel for a long, long time, um, sent me a package here a while back, and uh, he had some of these guys in it. And I thought I had went back and done a video about what these were after I opened them. Because uh, I was a little at the at, when I actually did the video, I didn't really know exactly what it was. I don't think so. Anyway, uh, in case I haven't explained that, what these guys are, and I'll 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 pop a couple out here. Now I just grabbed one out of the drawer. I've got a couple of these left. I sent the better ones to a couple of people, but um, he had taken and had little Velcro uh, strips over him. He's actually started uh, newer ones with like a pin idea, which is really cool. Uh, to retain the balls but uh, in a nutshell and these hold like enough to fill the mag but i'm just going to be lazy and do three i've already done this video a couple of times my wife came around the house it's like raining outside and everything in the middle of the uh, last take she came around the house with the lawnmower and i'm like what the heck is going on but i got one of those ego lawnmowers one of the electric ones and uh, she had walked out on the porch and the thing was trying to to drive itself away i guess the rain maybe got on the handle and shorted out the switch i don't know but anyway it was like a christine kind of situation for anybody that's old enough to remember that movie but anyway so the self-propelled self-motivated lawnmower has been you know uh, that tragedy's been averted but anyway you know you would fill this thing with balls secure it whichever one of the two ways you so choose uh depending on the version and uh, then when you got ready to do your mag you know take the pin out or take the velcro strap off these are actually the um, the little plastic sleeves that Lapco barrels come in. So anyway, they fit exactly perfect, right, on a M17 CQMF magazine. And then you literally, you just push them in. And uh, yeah, I mean, it, it freaking speed loads it. So very, very neat idea. Um, I, I was meaning to give the last couple I had to, um, or a couple of the last ones I had to, uh, Greg uh, from East Coast Less Lethal while he's here. We didn't cover like um, a quarter of the stuff we were supposed to because uh, we were kind of constrained on time and everything. We actually ended up that video was like an hour long and you know we only touched it on a few things. So there will be a part two to that and probably a three and a four at some point. I think September we're planning on doing another uh, another meetup. So anyway, stay tuned for that. Make sure to like and subscribe to both of those channels and to dawson dave ozfr 6s channel i will put a uh, shout out in the um in the description so you can find him as well and uh so those things are really neat good idea this dude makes the best freaking gummies in the world you have no idea um so anyway there be that so he sent me another package like a week ago and uh i've been rather busy and i wanted to you know be able to relax and you know whatever so uh now i'm finally getting around to doing it and here we go so i'm going to pop this baby open and see what we got here all the way from canada good things come from canada peeps so anyway oh cool 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 so these he puts velcro in those you can feel these babies oh these goodies in there these goodies in there look at that he sent me, the last time he sent me some really, really cool coins, and he sent me some more. These are really neat. Why has Canada got such cooler money than we do? So anyway, those are really cool. I don't know a lot about coins. Um, so that's a uh, $2 Elizabeth. Yeah, I don't know, like, the term for all these. They are very ornate, but uh, I actually, this one is the one, I know I said in my last, he sent me one of these in the other other pack, and I was like, oh, I really love this one. It's got a little plane on it, because I fly, yay, cool, really neat, oh, and those, really, really cool with the doves. So anyway, those are like uh, Easter egg in there, so good times, good times, all right. 
Oh, hey, oh, hey. Well, speak, speak of the devil. We have gummy. We have gummy logs, son. That's awesome. That is like a chunk of gum. <laughs> this stuff is so freaking good. So good. Love it. Good times. Heck yeah. My daughter loves it too. So we got a couple of big old chunky, chunky, uh, chunky gummies. I guess we'll call it that. Chunky gummies. <laughs> Gummy chunks. Whatever. Good stuff right there, son. Yay. Let's see here. Aha, uh -huh, looky here. Looky here. Ah, uh, the new version. See, I told you. Look how fancy now, right? So we got a little all oh, Allen key too. Yeah, that's a good idea. He's talking about a pin before, but uh, that's that's even better. Because, I mean, it's a pin, but, you know, it's a pin that's going to actually stop itself. Um, good times. So, you know, boom, fill it full of balls, put that puppy right through there to lock her in, but a bing, bang, boom, right, attach so you don't lose it, can't beat that with a stick, I mean, it is a stick, so you wouldn't really want to beat a stick with a stick, would you, right, I don't know, all right, so he sent me, uh, sent me a few of these, oh, looky here, Woohoo! It's got my BK Kinetic stickers on it. Well, Brenda's BK Kinetic stickers on it. So, good times. Ah, one for Wixen, right? So, I'll be shipping Wixen one of these. Right, right, right. That is awesome. Heck yeah. So, really appreciate that, homie. So, be sure to check, uh, be sure to check that out. Like I say, we'll put that in the description. And uh, then, uh, hang on, let me grab something else. All right, so then I get, I got another box about the same time, <laughs> so I feel bad that it's taken me this long to, to get to these, but I really wanted to, you know, do it, do it uh, right, and I've had quite a bit going on, but we're finally getting to it. Um, <laughs> so this is from my boy Eric, aka The Animal, uh, also a big supporter of the channel, uh, got, it's got quite a bit of stuff off of me in the past too, so he's got the uh, DK box going on. <laughs> which is really cool. My wife's like, that's neat. So anyway, let's see what we got going on here. So this is going to be an optic, uh, an optic mount there. <laughs> okay, all right. So if I'm not mistaken, that is going to be for hold that thought. I think who pal. Let's see. There it is, son. There it is. All right. So this is a T8 now. I'm guessing, I'm guessing maybe this would fit on something else too. Um, and I'm not sure, is that going to, I guess that's going to be for that too. Okay, cool, cool. Yes, that is going to be for that. Yep, yep, yep. So that's a lower rail uh, to put some either, you know, like light laser or whatever. So that is really neat. I should have took that screw out. I could have done that while I was doing whatever. But um, eh, yeah, hang on. All right, so sorry about that, guys. Hope you didn't feel that earthquake I just caused by hitting the camera. So anyway, that's going to go like that. And I believe these are pretty freaking hard to come by, actually. So yeah, that's going to go in there. Obviously, you would put the put the rail on first or whatever, but 
Yeah, nice. I really need to get on messing with these, but I've had so much other stuff to do that I haven't got around to it yet. But I've got uh, a couple of different uh, of these older Tiberius janks here. And uh, yeah, someday I'm going to get around to messing with them. But that is really neat. So, you know, obviously you can, these use the same kind of barrels like a... Uh, oh, well, I guess they do anyway. I thought so. Let's see. I don't know. Do they? Hmm. Kind of doubting it because, uh, yeah, no, I don't think so because the, the grooves are completely different on these. So I guess the eights are different. You know, I came into, uh, yeah, it's not going to work. Um, I came into less lethal, uh, not as a paintballer. So when it comes to the older stuff like this, I don't have quite the, uh, quite the paintball experience that a lot of people do. I come in from the tactical side <laughs> whatever all right so good times man i appreciate that both you guys really really awesome and uh y'all like subscribe and uh catch y'all on the flip side yeah i do want to show you guys you know just a little something else here real quick and i've showed these off before but uh one thing that uh that me and greg definitely really agree on is this guy um this this is something that uh when uh, when Greg was here from East Coast Less Lethal and actually saw mine sitting there, he's like, "Oh, dude, those are yeah, those are sweet. I use those all the time." Um, I honestly, uh, there's a couple people had uh, made posts in some different groups about you know hot weather and not wearing a lot of clothes and how do you conceal something well you know like this uh, in the summertime, uh, which the FSC is obviously smaller than this. Um, that's what the FSC means. It's you know. The C means compact, <laughs> so that's what they did is make a co more compact version of, of this. I think they got the same rig. Looks like it does anyway. Like I say, I've never I've never messed with these as far as uh, you know building them or anything, but I'm gonna at some point. <laughs> so anyway, a good little good little carry thing in the summertime. Uh, Kimber Pepper Blaster 2. Uh, I can't stress how awesome these are. You can slip them in your pocket. You get two shots. This does not shoot a projectile. Uh, this uses an, an ignition system that is very similar to like an airbag. Um, and if you've ever been in a car when an airbag goes off, this when you shoot this. Now obviously the pepper smells like pepper, but the launcher smells like an airbag just went off. It stinks so bad. Um, but anyway, uh, not a big bang or anything. It's just kind of a sound. And that's like a like, I don't know. Yeah, that's pretty close to it right there. No, it's not a fart. No, it's like a... <laughs> nope, that's not it either. All right, I'm going to quit trying. <laughs> so anyway, it's a stupid little sound. Um, so it's not uh, not anything that's loud, going to hurt your ears, anything like that. But it is an explosion, technically, a pyrotechnic released um, gel. So the gel comes out of this. Uh, very good range. Um, <clears throat> yeah. And pepper gel is pretty awesome. Pepper gel is probably more effective than pepper powder, um, honestly because you know wind's not going to affect it as much it's going to stick to people a lot better um it's just just really cool and just the fact you know because it's a gel it's very very compact so uh they've got uh, i'll put a link for these they've got them on amazon they've also got the holsters etsy i believe you can get them on amazon too um very 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 good and then a lot of times i'll have like that in this um you know, if I'm not, I usually always have a knife in my pocket, but if I'm really wanting to, you know, step it up, the way I've got this one set up, and these are the K, these are the K bar, uh, these are made for a K bar, I believe. Um, but anyway, you can mount these puppies on there, and when you put it on a belt, it's going to hold it in a really high position close to your back. So it's going to be very concealable. It's not going to be sticking down below your shirt like, you know, a hunting knife or something would. See how high, you know, your belt's here, obviously. So there's only that much sticking down. Um, you know, between those two, if you've got both of those things on you and, and maybe, you know, a zip tie or two, you might be in good shape if you, you know, think about it, know what you're doing, <laughs> whatever. But anyway, there you go. A couple little, couple little cool, uh, easy to conceal things when you're like wearing shorts and a t-shirt, um, whatever. Is it less lethal? Eh, this one is. That one's not. But yeah, you know, sometimes you might need to follow up with this after this. You never know. Hopefully not. 
But you always need a knife. <laughs> All right, I'm going to quit rambling now. All right, guys, again, DK Spencer, y'all like, subscribe, and uh, I really will catch you on the flip side this time. All right, bye.